I've made a magnificent discovery. It turns out you can remove these from either side and the valve doesn't fall apart. Well, the seal comes off, but I thought these were critical structural elements. I thought if I pulled this off, that this would be uncovered and there, you wouldn't have a valve. But because this part does come off, it means I don't need to drill a hole this big around in the side of the habitat. I can just remove this and have this be flush with the side of the habitat. And having those bolts go through. And also the fact that I can do this means I don't need to buy different bolts. I can use the bolts I already have. They'll reach far enough to penetrate the habitat shell and hold this thing on there. I've just, just got to summon the bravery to bore out a hole about this big around, which is, I think, exactly the diameter of this. Like this, it's almost exactly that size. So it's not that it'll slot into anything, it's just that the hole it creates will be almost exactly this diameter. I also discovered these are a little on the large side for this habitat, but, but should just barely fit. The issue is whether or not there will be room at the bottom for the bolts to go through and still have a flat, a little bit of flat wall left in, instead of reaching the point where it curves here into the floor. I think it will. The issue is this thing gets in the way. But um, even with that in the way, I think this just exactly has enough room to mount to the side of this. And I'll, I'll put this a ways back here, so it won't be exactly on the middle of the wall like, like it will be for Megahab. But it, that way the handle won't stick out more than it absolutely has to. It's funny, this has long been the largest of the habitats that I've built so far. But because of this valve system and using natural bodies of water, going forward, this is probably going to be the smallest that my habitats ever get again. And the cool thing about these seals is that they protrude a little bit. So they'll press up against the transparent plastic wall and form a nice tight seal. I won't even have to mess around with silicone sealant, although, you know, it doesn't hurt to just dab a little ring of silicone around there anyway to be doubly sure. All told, I'm really happy I figured this out. It, it's going to be a much cleaner build because of that than it would have been. Now for the bad news. I bought these rubber bands assuming they would be wide enough this way to serve as docking skirts. I knew they were wide enough this way. I mean, these will fit around the, uh, presto, just that easy, folks. Anyway, they'll fit around the uh, docking collar, but they don't extend far enough this way without just popping off. This needs to be considerably wider. It needs to be like a sleeve rather than a band. And the only silicone sleeves I could find on Amazon were for penis pumps. I'm not quite ready to sink to that depth yet. Since these rubber bands are apparently just made out of cut up bicycle tubes, I think what I really need is a fat tire bicycle tube uh, from Walmart or wherever and a pair of scissors. And then I'll just cut it to whatever length I want. Come to think of it, this is a good opportunity since not much work is gonna get done until I get the correct size drill bits that I need to drill the holes for the screws, just to compare these two habitats. This is the largest one I've been working with until now, and it's tall enough that I could theoretically just divide it into two floors, but I didn't want to have it be that cramped. It's a single floor structure with four lead weights. Each block weight is about five pounds, so that's 20 pounds ballast. This one has 12 weights. So visually, you would expect this to be about four times the interior volume, but it's actually only about three. However, because it's so tall, I think, I think I can divide it into three floors and still have plenty of vertical room for a hamster who's not going to miss the, the uh, lost headroom. I, only humans per, like prefer absurdly high ceilings. This will mean more floor space for the hamster, effectively tripling the interior volume from the hamster's point of view. Uh, there will have to be chunks cut out of the floors. There are going to be stackable floors with handles on the sides for pulling them out. Uh, one on top of the other, like, like little tables, with a hole for a climbing tube so it can get between the floors, and a chunk, a rectangular chunk, subtracted from the back so that it doesn't physically conflict 
with the wheel that's going to be in the back of this thing. Anyways, I wish I had more to show you now. Um, I really need to get those drill bits. A lot's been going on in my life that's been preventing me from working on this. But that should give you an idea of where I'm headed with this. Um, sound off in the comments whether you think this is better suited to be a two-story structure uh, or a three-story structure. Keeping in mind that the hamsters are about golf ball sized. I wish I had something for uh, physical reference here. They, they just comfortably fit through here. They're pretty small compared to this, so I really feel like three floors is doable and will increase their satisfaction at, because they'll have more roaming space uh, versus having two floors with a little bit more headroom. Final note, if you haven't done it already, go check out my Twitter at Hampshire I. Just plain Hampshire was taken somehow. Um, I'm posting all sorts of rare schematics photographs and CGI renders of earlier habitats from the initial stages of the program. Raising awareness on Twitter will really help elevate the profile of the project and attract new donors, as well as I just like to shitpost. Also be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already, and go back and look at some of the older videos, because a lot of the questions I'm getting on Twitter, like what do you do about the waste, uh, how do you replenish their food? What happens if the power goes out? Those questions are answered in older videos and actually demonstrated, like the mechanisms that solve those problems. So I w it would be a, less of a headache for me if people would check out the already available information. Plus, they're just fun to watch. I've got a lot of really interesting, exotic, old prototype habitats in those videos that I don't use anymore, or some of them I actually don't have anymore. I don't know where, where they uh, went to. Uh, so go check out the YouTube, subscribe, hit the bell, and uh, tell your friends. I mean, the more this blows up, the faster I can make progress. Most of all, I want you to remember that just because your mother and I split up does not mean that we don't love you.